tonight is the first night of the Grateful Dead, and we have been fortunate to not just get these amazing miracle tickets. Sweet A, A10. We are gonna be right on the corner of the stage, one of the best places to see the show outside of the pit. And we got Kagan here. Fucking Kagan. I woke this up is, and I'm here. I don't this, know. This is this is gonna be one hell of a night. We got three nights here. Final ones. It's we got Dave awesome. Oaken here. Right. Dave Oaken, right it's here. Right, 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 right there. So Dave, let's go in. Are going. Where are we? Soldier Field. Your sweet day. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Awesome. Enjoy the show. For these final shows, they're giving out thousands of roses to everybody in the room. What do you think? We're going to hear a rambling rose? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at this. Excuse me? More than nothing? Yep, 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 yep. Hello, A10. How are you? How are you? A10? Right over this way. Thank you. So they divided the pit. They actually increased the size of the pit for this show because you could see people were able to walk all the way around. Then they also they have taper section right in the back of the board. So all those roses that are being right now handed out down on the floor are actually tie-dyed roses. <laughs> kind of cool and totally in the dead spirit. We are 30 minutes from showtime. Looks like we got a band member. Like, I mean, how's everybody been today? Everybody's been very cool. We, we found out that pretzels are vegan because there's lots of vegans and vegetarians here. I'm a vegetarian, so I'm happy yeah. to be amongst, you know, good people. So, yeah. Awesome. Home is Virginia. Marcus, Virginia. Marcus, Virginia. Marcus. Awesome. And did you go last weekend to I San Francisco? I did not go last weekend to Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. well, when was the last show you went to? I saw Further and uh, two years ago at Locken. Yeah? Yeah. So oh, that's awesome. it. And what about like the last show maybe with Jerry? Oh, I did go to Dear Jerry. The last show with Jerry was um, RFK Stadium. I think. 94? Yeah. 95? 94. 94? Yeah. Awesome. And what, what are you hoping to hear tonight? Oh my god, everything they played in Santa Carla. <laughs> um, everything. I don't think they're going to play anything that I was into. Is it going to be the song that I wanted to hear? All right, I can I can do it. You see, I'm I'm hoping for a good bird song. Yeah, bird song, um, shakedown. Yep. Um, terrapin. Yep. But over the next three nights, we're gonna hear them. We're gonna. Any way we look at it, each night's gonna be real special. Every yeah, very special. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, Eighty-five and or excuse me, ninety-five in Atlanta. Last song I helped song play was a Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And uh, first song I can't remember, but first show was uh, nineteen. 77 Syracuse, New York. Second show, Cornell, 1977. Ooh, you went to the big one. With the big. I bought the last two tickets of that for sale. It's my favorite part of that story. That's so I had awesome. no idea what I was experiencing. So, so me asking you, what was your favorite show that you attended? I have to say, I really don't have a favorite show. They're all great really answer. Different. I, I was waiting to hear if you were going to bring out Cornell because it's, of course, one of the most famous shows yep. that's ever happened in the history. And what what are your what are your favorite dead songs? Favorite? That's another loaded question. Depends on my mood. Yeah. Uh, Tennessee Jed, he's gone, but really. You're, you're naming two of the songs that were played last Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, but yeah, but, I mean, I, I, it depends on where I'm at. Now, you know? Do you think there's any dynamic? Behind now, of course, you know, to us, we know any any way they, the boys decide they're going to play, it's going to be a magical night. But there was definitely a lot of people that saw the first night in SC and were saying it was only songs between 65 and 70. Right. Between uh, on the second show, we got a He's Gone. We got certain songs that, of course, kind of related in the 70s. They did do a Hell in a Bucket. They did right. do a couple of uh, uh, of the, the songs of the 80s. But do you think they're going to be paying any attention? 20 years on these final three or what do you mean I'm sorry like 
Do you think they're going to be playing anything between 65 all the way into the 90s? Well, they're going to play everything. Yeah. No doubt about it. And, and, you know, my spin on all that was first people complaining about, you know, Phil singing or the songs they played and blah, blah, blah. It's their band. I don't care what they play. I think, you know, I, I was telling a friend, I think, you know, uh, maybe Phil's grandkids said, you know what, Grandpa, I want to see you sing. You know, I don't care what the reason is. You know, like they're band. They can't disappoint me. You know, and I'll tell you what, I've already, after watching these, uh, the uh, first two shows screen, I'm beyond uh, expectations. I mean, I had right. such low expectations for this. For this. So I'm way right. past that. Is there one song that you are really hoping to hear over any of Is there something I'm hoping to hear over anyone? I think they've already played my favorite. I mean, I said my favorite. One of my favorites is Rich as He's Gone. My personal is, uh, you know, Touch It Great. I know it's so top 40 ish, I guess, but for me it relates, you know, and I'm sorry. So it's got a nice beat to it, but I mean, I got to Touch It Great myself, you know? So I mean, I relate to it. So that's. Uh, well, really you know, what's funny is 20, 25 years ago, Everybody felt Touch of Grey was, first of all, a, <clears throat> the most commercial song that the Dead had. And it was one that they felt changed the scene. Though if you look at it, we're now talking 25 years later, where it's a song that it feels like a lot of people can relate to a lot exactly. more now. So. I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't feel the same way about it back then as I do now. I can yeah. definitely say that. You know, and, and as I'm talking a little bit, I'm thinking uh, uh, Estimated, and uh, which is definitely one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. and, um, Gosh, a uh, shakedown, of course. I mean, uh, but it's uh, it's a different vibe. It's a different time, and I'm not expecting anything. What, I mean, in fact, I'm I'm here. And I've already reached expectation just talking to you. Do you, you remember the first time you heard the Grateful Dead and what it was that got you into them? I remember the first time I heard the Grateful Dead, and give me a second here. Um, gosh, uh, Bob Weir was singing uh, El Paso. And it was probably halfway through the set, and I wasn't a Dead fan at all. And I was in El Paso. I, I felt what he was singing about. He took me there, and that's when I got on the bus. Awesome. Soldier Field is filling up. Take a look at that floor and the pit.
about the birth of America. That's right. Alright, alright, you got blue and white. You're halfway there. I'm assuming that your thong is red. Uh, Fourth of July. So, so Rick. <laughs> Rick, how, how was you, your first Grateful Dead experience? Uh, amazing, and I do not understand how I got to be this old and ancient without ever having a Grateful Dead experience prior to now. So, thank God I got there at the end. Nick? How about you? Unspeakable. It's phenomenal. Show. Yeah, what, what was your favorite part of the show? The energy in the stadium. Yeah. What was that guy It's a garage, and you have to leave within an hour. So how do you do it? Hey, Lynn, you got 
of soldier fields. This is where the lost soldiers are. We're going underground, under to the bowels of the stadium of soldiers. Yes. It is indeed this, the hidden, the hidden stairwell. Oh, good, it opened. <laughs> Yesterday there were people posted. Yeah, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Uh, going to the uh, Mars. Yeah. Yes, you have to be credentialed and crap. Yes. This is where this is where it gets a little crazy. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Sir. Bam. There you go. Very cool. Here we are. We are at Soldier Field, 4th of July. Mitch Davis, Claire Davis, having having a blast on the field. And we're very, look at the sign, we're very and thankful. Very, very thankful. Just check us out. Look at Soldier Field. Look at how many people are starting to fill the stadium. It doesn't get any better. It doesn't. And you know what? Playing on a Saturday night. That's right. Let's see what they play tonight. Free puff war. The only difference is we clean up after the free puff war. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to sacrifice the beverage for the free puff Welcome to night two. I'm grateful that hanging out in the party suite. Nothing like being surrounded by friends, friends of, and family, friends of friends from the past couple that came. And we're not even just that, but we're doing it right. We got 
Lots of food, booze, everything. Good times. Somebody pick me up! It's showtime. It's showtime. Trying to ride him with you guys. Trying to ride him might be good right now. Yeah. Outside of Soldier Field, July 4th, end of Independence Day, and we got Dave Rackhauer right here with a couple of his friends. Dave, what did you think of tonight's show? July 4th, 2015. Oh, this is a great way to tie it up. Last night really pulled it all together. It felt like a real band, substantiated, and tonight just kept the flow rolling, baby. What was what? What were you so happy to hear tonight? What was I so happy to hear tonight? Shakedown opener. I called it. That was hot. I called it. What did you guys think? She said it was great. U.S. Blues. One more Saturday and night. It was the last Saturday night. Yeah, it yeah. was the last, last Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night. Unfortunately. Now, tomorrow is the last show. What do you guys think is going to come out tomorrow night? I don't know. It's got to be a China Cat. Right? I don't know. Are we going to hear a Terrapin? It's got to be a Terrapin. terrapin. Got to yeah. be a Terrapin. What else? Are we going to hear a touch of grave? Because you got to think, it was 20 years ago when it was looked at as, as a poser touch song, grave. but now everybody roll, has it. I don't know. Black Muddy River Broken as well. Down yeah. Palace. I'd yeah. love to hear some Samson. Yeah. 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 Samson. Yeah, there yeah. you go. A lot of years of Samson. Yeah. Totally. It's great, man. I mean, they're a full band now. It's so great. They play the drive is driving the truck. Everyone is playing.
Did you light it, bro? No, I did not. I'm sorry to say. You light it, bro? I got a lighter. Look it up. Hold on. David. Where are you from? Chicago. Oh, you're here. This is your hometown. Yeah, that's my brother right What's there. What's happening, brother? You good? Yeah, Let me good. find my lighter. I have it in my pocket. It's hiding. Yeah. 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 The thing that's so funny is this is one of those few moments where I got to break away from everybody and just do everything by myself. It's funny, you have a nitrous oxide tank right here in the middle. People walking with their balloons. <laughs> Another one right here. It's funny. Gotta love it. Dirt coming up here in the tunnel. We're gonna hear the best stuff going on over the next couple days. July 5th and tonight is the final Fare Thee Well show. Right now I'm, I got a coffee in hand and I'm gonna head to the David Grisman brunch which should be pretty incredible. I'm sure you could hear my voice is a little bit uh, raspy today and that definitely has to do with last night having a suite with over 20 close friends from all generations, childhood all the way to today. And uh, we had a blast. And now it's time uh, to get ready for one more final amazing day. Last night, The Grateful Dead played so many amazing songs. Opening up second set with Bird Song, incredible. And uh, I think tonight, we're gonna hear a China Rider. I think we're gonna also hear a Terrapin. I really hope we hear a Terrapin. And uh, so many other songs that they could be playing. And I know for a lot of people, there'll be a lot of tears in the air. I'm waiting for a train right now at the Cumberland Blue Line. So right now we are at the Palmer House where David Grisman is having a brunch. And it should be pretty special. There's no question. You can't live without it. No, you're just freaking out because you're at the train station. You literally can't take it without it. What do you think of Fairly Well so far? Have you been to it the past two nights? or I did not go. I watched the Santa Clara shows online. I did not go out there, but the Chicago shows, I think, have been wonderful. Tell me your name. My name's Matt from Indianapolis. Matt, what are you hoping to hear tonight? Final night. There's definitely some some real big ones that I think we're all... the China Rider to come out, which I, it has to at some point, I think. Um, so I'll talk about that. And, and we bid you good night to close things out. Um, Estimated terrapin. Oh, the terrapin. We talk about terrapin. 
Yes. China what? Rider Estimated Terrapin. How does that sound? Oh, that's heading awesome. Into space? Now, with, now, with now let me ask you, because yes. Yes. Me with Brandon, too, there was a saxophone and sound check on Thursday. So, so who knows? You mentioned you watched the Santa Clara shows, like, yes. I mean, and, and you just mentioned Estimated. Were you surprised when you heard Alabama Getaway and Tennessee Jet and No Estimated in Santa Clara? I didn't even think about it, to be Didn't honest. No. 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 What, what would you say was like a big highlight for you so far out of all these shows? So far, it was for me, it was uh, Trey kicking it and Scarlett, uh -huh. and then uh, Bobby Weir telling him, hey, go ahead, take another verse, because he was just shredding it. Awesome. What, what, what about you? Tone. I'm Johnson Boston. I was at the last two shows in Chicago. Loved them. I think the highlight was, was uh, Shakedown. And Scarlet. Um, I'm looking forward to them opening with Dance in the Streets because we'll be dancing in Chicago. And I'm hoping to hear Terrence. Awesome. And I'm, this has so far exceeded my expectations. It's not fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was your highlight? Uh, I'm Bob from uh, Indianapolis. The, the highlight, I think, was watching my 15 year old son during Bertha <laughs> when he just said, Okay, Dad. Now I get why you always listen to this band. That was a treat that probably could never be repeated. So that was really cool. Um, Jack Straw, Bertha, was consequential. And music never stopped. It just absolutely blew me away. The whole first night was fantastic. But sharing that with my 15 and 16 year old was really special. That's awesome. Dominique. Oh no. He got me all teary. Hands on Enjoying her Bloody Mary. So they had it. What was your highlight? I had tons of Friday. Um, the passenger. First set passenger, what a shocker. That was so fun. Awesome. So good. Like, now you, you guys were in the you guys were in uh, on the floor so far both nights, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so what else? I really like the wheel intro. That was patient and pretty and they took their time, they didn't rush it. This is the best. And it was really dreamy. That was pretty nice. And then the second set was smoking. Playing. Did you guys hear the West LA jam within playing? Yep. That was freaking phenomenal. And then let it grow. I danced straight through set break. The set break music was really cool too. Yeah, they just never set up. Final Shakedown Street. Grateful Dead finale, last show ever. This is it. I'm not happy about it being the last show, but I am thankful for there being a last show. We, we are very lucky we got this. Mitch, what do you think they're going to play tonight? Uh, you know, I, I hope for some of the great classics from the early years. I want the big, I want them to bring the big guns. I want them to bring the biggest, most popular songs that they have left. I want to hear Not Fade Away, Touch of Grey, I, Trucking would be fun. I want them to mix it up, but I want them to bring the big songs that they've been known for. Terrapin. Yep. Yeah, maybe China even Rider. Dancing in the Streets. Dancing in the Streets, yeah. Um, a lot of that going I, on here. I want this to be a big blowout fun party. I mean, they bring the big dancing songs and 
we, we shake soul, Soldier Field and make it thunder for one last night. Now, Mitch, I know you've experienced this like I have when we were a lot younger. Have you ever seen a shakedown street like this? I mean, even on stadium tours, I've never seen it. What we have this here, what we have here right now, is is a very frenetic parking lot where we, we probably have maybe ten thousand plus thousand in here alone in this lot. Yeah. Massively, people are cooking food, selling beer, drinks, trinkets, T-shirts, stickers, you name it. I think more than ten. I mean, I I think. It's way 20, up there. 25,000, I don't know. Easily, minimum. Um, I gotta get minimum. a copy of this video too, my brother. Absolutely. But, you know, we're, gonna, we're gonna take a nice stroll down Shakedown Street. So we will get back to you all. Just know that this was an epic moment in time. It's we're, historic, it's a, it is. It is history. It is. Lots of love, peace yep. out. Let's go for a stroll. Okay, he did the Clapton version, and he starts taking off on it, and his father looks over the street. This is where the real party is done. Yeah, hey, I feel like I'm okay with this. <laughs> We always pray for good weather on the beer. Oh, it was, it was just stuff he had. Alright. You guys are gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
What an amazing first set. An epic classic. Amazing first set. Legendary set. set. All the songs were done perfect. Yep. We just hear Throwing Stones at the end. To Encore, China Rider. To open. I mean, we, we, we thought we were going to hear the China Rider and we heard it. Great energy, powerful. I think we're going to hear a terrapin. I do think we're going to hear a terrapin. I hope so. Yeah. It's been underrepresented, but in their art, there's plenty of turtles. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
Do some good with it. Hug your husband, wife, kids. I leave you with this. Please be kind.